<laughs> anyway, there's commentary on that fight on Radio 5 Live. First bell rings just before 10pm. Don't miss it. Now, previously on Saturday Breakfast, we've featured hybrid sports like, say, chess boxing, also golf cross, that's rugby cross with golf. Now, here's another one for you. Lacrosse involves, of course, throwing a ball around with a stick. Stop it. <laughs> Which has a net on the end of it. But how about trying all that on a horse? You'd be good at this, Dan. You've got the height reach. That's what happens when you mix polo with lacrosse. <laughs> OK. Sorry. For centuries, people have been hitting balls with sticks while riding their horse. They called it polo. But then around 70 years ago, well, it wasn't enough for some, and they started throwing the ball around with these rackets. It started off as a rider's exercise, and the Australians turned it into the sport of polo cross. It claims to be more accessible than normal polo. For one, the pitch is a quarter of the size, and you can pick the ball up in your racket and run off with it, rather than just hitting it onto one of your teammates. You can only hit a ball so far and you know a lot of back in the day I think a lot of the riding was done in schools and to hit a ball you'd only hit it once and then you'd be at the end of the school whereas with polo cross you can sort of jimmy it around and you know just play around and carry it sort of thing. All right Mike we always start this off by teaching it on foot. Now what I'm going to teach you to start with are the four ways to pick a ball up. Okay. Remember don't hit. Now it will feel slightly awkward but when you're on a horse it won't feel quite so. So this is a line-up, how every chucker starts, just as in polo, but this time I try to catch it with racket. You don't have to be an experienced rider to get involved, as you can start playing at walking or trotting pace. This is a far cry, though, from the international standard played by the UK team members around me, who came fourth in the world at a recent tournament. Yes. It's great at the, at the lower levels, you can play on any sort of horse and just have a, have a bit of fun, but at an international level it gets very fast and furious. It might not have been fast or furious for me, but the thrill of scoring was just about the same. Oh, it's in the post, it's in off yeah. the post! There we go. <laughs> yeah, 15 clubs up and down the UK. You can see the UK team, the UK team in action next weekend at Stony Park in Warwickshire at Your Horse Live. Good. Mike, thank you very much for that. 8.44. Uh, we've